Hello dear spectators, and welcome to the second episode of Sanity Slayer 42's Machinima Making Guide for Halo Custom Edition. In this episode, I'll show you what arguments to use when launching a game to allow you to do stuff like detach the first person camera view. If you just didn't understand what I said, don't panic, I'll explain. You see, whenever you launch Halo's EXE file, the operating system, or should I say Windows for the non-geeks, it checks to see if you've added any primary menus or settings, options, whatever you want to call it. These are called arguments, and they allow you to change certain aspects of the game. We specifically need to use these two arguments for making machinima. Dash console and dash dev mode. I also find the dash window argument pretty useful. It makes it easier to record. There's loads of other arguments, but I'm not gonna browse through them all. If you want to see the entire list of all the arguments, then just use the dash question mark argument. But now how do we configure these arguments, you ask? Ah, well, since we're not all programmers, I'll explain it in a language even my grandmother can understand. Computer geeks, however, please be patient. There are loads of methods that you can use to apply the arguments, but the easiest one would probably be to use a shortcut, so I'll show you how to do that. Alright, so the first thing you gotta do is go to the game's directory. By default, it's in this location. Then, you gotta right click the Halo CE file, so that's the one with the master chief. Then, go on create shortcut. You can rename the shortcut whatever you want, it doesn't make a difference. I'll rename it your mom here, for instance. Right click your mom, uh, I mean the, the shortcut, and then go on properties. Now there should be something in the target field, but after that, just add this space dash console space dash dev mode and optionally space dash window. Then click OK. Now, if you've done this properly, you should be able to at any point in the game by pressing the squiggly line key bring up the console like this. Okay, now that the essential is done, I'm going to go through a few useful hints. Before you create a LAN game, make sure you've created a game type just for filming beforehand. It's most preferable to use a Slayer game type, not Team Slayer, because that limits you to either being blue or red. Remove the time limit and vehicle spawn times. This is very important. I mean, chances are you don't want to have a message randomly saying, You have 5 minutes left or to see your car magically disappear. You'll often have to repeat scenes if you don't do this. Once again, I really recommend that you use the dash window argument. I mean, when I record, I, I, uh, I always have my, uh, my, my script on the side, and I, uh, uh, will you scroll down already? It's hard enough as it is to improvise. Well, fellas, that'll be it for this episode. And the next episode, I'll show you how to detach the first person camera view and how to move around with the third person camera. And I'll also show you how to lower the gun and to talk, as I'm doing now. See you next time.